Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you what goes on behind the scenes as you're creating a part in Solid Camp. The purpose of this lesson is to show you exactly what happens on your hard drive as you're creating a new part in Solid Camp with their new files and folders. To do this properly, what I've done here on my screen is actually opened up a folder inside my computer so that you can see that alongside with the part that we are going to create for Salacam. You'll note that the name of this part is called bracket and this file is the only file at this moment that is in the location called creating Salacam part. Now I'll start by creating a new part in Salacam and I'll do new milling and we'll do this quickly as we're going through now as you can see the moment I clicked on OK a new folder has been created called bracket the exact same name as my part now we'll quickly continue by creating a coordinate system and I'll just click on this surface for now and click on OK and exit my part now, as you can see on my hard drive right now, I have the folder, as I've said, bracket, and also added on a file called bracket.prt. This folder and this file must be in the same location at all time. They must be in the same folder. If you separate them or change the name of one of them without the other, it will not work anymore. They both must have the same name and they must be in the same location. Now, what's the best way to copy this from one location to another? All you have to do is go to Campart, right-click on it, and do Save As. The moment I do Save As, I can go into my computer, click on the folder I want to save it in. As you see, I have a folder here called Creating Solid Camp Parts 2, and save it over there. At this point, we now have in that other folder this file and this folder copied into that location. If I were to go into that folder itself, you can actually see that those are the folder and the file name that has been created inside that folder. In addition, if I want to save this part in the same location under a different name, all I have to do is right click. Again, save as, and just give it a different name, such as bracket1. The moment I click on save, you'll note that it has created a new folder and a new file called bracket1, and they're both located in the same area. If I were to open up the folder itself, you'll notice that there are several files located inside Salacam. These are the files that actually run the part, such as the target stock. We have the design model, which is the exact copy of the original part, and the assembly file, which Salacam is actually running on, and several other files needed for the part itself. And as we go along, creating geometries and other operations, you'll see more files in here as well. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.